Grandma, this is an interesting building. Crosses, its ornament. Oh, yes, my dear, this is St. Francis W. Church, but it's also St. Benedict Parish for the Deaf. Why two names? Is this like Japanese style? Certainly is. But at the time in 1939, when this was built, when this Catholic church was established in uh, was 1913 in San Francisco. That's more than 100 years ago. I suppose. Father Albert Breton built this for Japanese-speaking community. Did he speak Japanese? Ah, uh, he was a French clergyman. In 1905, he was 23 years old and was sent to Hakodate and Aomori. But he got sick seven years later. Um, he returned to France for medical care. Then he worked in North America. He came to San Francisco and established this church for a Japanese-speaking Catholic community. Then what happened? Well, at 39 years old, Father Breton went back to Tokyo. He brought nuns from U.S. and operated kindergarten, orphanage, and hospice in Japan. He was eventually ordained a bishop in Fukuoka, Japan. But he resigned the position. Oh, I wonder why. Um, he was assigned to go to Spain. Um, so he resigned. He wanted to remain in Japan. So he and became missionary. Uh, in 1954, he's buried in Yokosuka in Japan. Oh, then Japan became his home. Right. Uh, I forgot important detail. The um, Pearl Harbor was attacked, but next day, he was arrested in Tokyo and detained by Japanese police. During the World War II, after the war, he remained in Japan, praying for the healing from Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombing scars. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? Yes, for everybody. Not that the grandma experienced any of it. Oh, another important story is about Father William Stoke. Who is he? He was the pastor of this church here right before the wartime. So, in 1942, the American government ordered the Japanese Americans in San Francisco to get out of here. Hey? Um, they are to be located, so Catholic Japanese Americans went to the internment camp at Topaz, Utah. Pastor Stoker had Japanese Americans furniture and personal belongings stored in the social hall here. The building was still very new back then. Then Pastor Stoke followed his parishioners to the camp at Topaz. He ministers there for the entire time. Um, the order was for Japanese Americans, right? He didn't have to go. You're right, but he thought Japanese Americans needed Japanese language service to help going through the difficult times. Oh, so what happened when the war is over, he came back? Yes. Uh, long story short, the father Stoke came back, discharged and with Japanese Americans. Oh, great story, Grandma. But what about two names, St. Francis W. and St. Benedict? Oh, one of these days I will tell you more, but well, very short one, please. Well, St. Francis Xavier is the patron saint for Japan as a country. St. Benedict is the patron saint for deaf. Is that all? Um, okay. About 500 years ago, St. Francis Xavier came to Japan. He was a young Catholic priest. He really liked Japan because people were nice and well-mannered. He arrived at Kagoshima on the Catholic holiday. Assumption of the Virgin. So he thought Japan is a country Virgin Mary embraces. See the statue in the front here? He taught Christianity to many people, but the mainly he lived in Hiraton, Nagasaki. Both designated St. Francis Xavier 
as the patron saint for Japan. All right, so Saint Benedict? Ah, so for 2,000 years, the Catholic Church has tradition of ministering the deaf. At one point, Saint Benedict did especially a wonderful work with people with hearing difficulties. Now I hear they have sign language interpreter for their services. It's getting late. Let's go home. All right. Goodbye, St. Francis Xavier Church and St. Benedict Parish for the Deaf. <laughs>